B. Smoke's on towards the bomb site, and the only two CTs to try and stop this from coming in are towards Graffiti, though Flixie's starting it strong with two quick headshots with that USPS. Made an extra coming from Khan, won't be able to find anything along with Graves, putting it in the 3v3, but Kismer, he's found some sort of success in towards Evan, but he might have that short-lived. As he's taken down a 9 HP from one of these Glocks, Flixie still in contention to pick up more Kismer. Supporting his teammate who is now in pit holder, picking up the frag and attack tile. Kismer, he's got to pick up the 1v2. He's already got two. Can he get a third holder? Picking around the pillar, and he's going to pick up the pistol. Was there. EDP, aka Beta Nix. He's in the corner, and he's cleared hard. Holder with a quick double tick from that Galil. Puts it in the 3v5. Kismer trying to trade something back, but no good to do it. It's one versus five. Tactile alone with the 5-7. Three T's to CZ's and it's going to be a water take from the CT side and it's a quick mow down from Zinez. Two quick kills with the Galil and Flixie. He wants to find something on the back of the bomb site. He's able to convert one but now it's down to Graves in the 1v4 and Molly towards Pit. And that's the end of his run. Away to fake. And I think we're going to see a rotate up towards the save bomb site. We are. Flixie already got a quick rotate. Beta next finding the first. Can he find anything more? He didn't take any damage. So it's very, very possible. But he's going to try and creep behind the smoke. And it's going to lead to his end. Kismer. He's on the bomb site. He whiffs the shot. It's still a 4v4. And he whiffs the second shot. Rare misses from Flixie. But Flixie and Graves are there to capitalize on the opportunity. Supa with a quick trade. Kismer, he's isolated towards Struck. It's 2v2. Make it 1v2. And now Zinez going in for the bomb plan, or at least faking it out. He's trying to break Graves through the smoke. And I can't even predict what's going on. It's 1v1. Tactile picks up the AWP. Zinez pushing him down and gets the headshot. Zinez once again picking up a quick two kills with a little to give Tater Peppers a fourth. Holder starts it off on a beta nix, and he seems expectant of another one, that being Kismer. But Kismer, he doesn't want to overextend here, and Holder, he's going to fall for it! Little aggressive in connector, gives him what could be a free AK, but Kismer, he's got to pick up more if he wants it, and he can't. Based is there to make sure he can't recover that AK, but Flixie... He's got a different story. He heard Supa as well. It's still a 3v3. P9 in towards Pit. He's going to find one. It's two versus three. Health advantage in the favor of Undesired Prophecy. As it's an off and a 6 HP AK. The off actually is traded over. It's one versus three for Zenas on 6 HP. And I don't think he's going to be able to pick it up. Flexi with one hell of a 3k with the Desert Eagle. Gives Undesired their first. Nice on the opportunity of only two men on this B bomb site. Flexi, he's flashed off the angle. So many smokes from the C side. Flexi through the smoke gets down. Are you kidding? Kismer and Flixie cleaning things up. Smokes don't matter. It's a four versus two. Tater Peppers down in the main advantage. Biaser brings one back. But Flixie, he's on a tear. Can he do anything more? He can't. But Betanix, he might be able to. He's creeping through his throat. He finds one. It's one versus one. And Supa's position given away. Betanix, it seems like he knows. He's looking the wrong way. And that's going to lead to his demise. Oh, connector. Supa running straight through the smoke. He falls. Betanix is going to be able to recover the AK as well. And with the assistance of Flixie at the 3v5. UP with one hell of a man advantage, and it hasn't even been 30 seconds into the round. Two T's coming up towards Fountain, and that's where Kismer creeps in. He picks up one, but Zinez trades for two. Contention, but Piuser, is he going to overextend? He's not going to. Oh, a Molly on the strike. That's definitely taken care of Zinez, and it's one versus two for Piuser. He's down to 73. These M4s have the one dink potential. Graves is waiting for his teammate Flixie to rejoin him in towards Monster. And a couple of whiffs gives Flixie a second. And it's going to be a second for UB as well as we head into the eighth round coming in. And he's crying for help as they take all the way up. Beta Nix, he's isolated. And Holder actually picks up one. Min advantage for Tater Peppers for one second there. But it's 3v2 in the end. Can I switch to an actual player, please? 2v3 retake coming in. One versus three now as Biaser is left alone on the truck. And Flixie ends it. And now, it seems like they're holding for it. Graves, he's ready. And Supa, he's... Oh my god, gonna hit the headshot! It's 4v5. Man advantage for Tater Peppers. And Holder, he could fall in con. He will. Man advantage traded right back in the bomb. Looking to go back towards A. And Betanix, oh, I love this. He's keeping his aggressive positioning in towards playground. And Biaser, he's been hurt. Betanix knows exactly what's going on. And he can run his way all the way up long. Biaser... Seems like he was aware of where he came from! Bomb drop! This beta nick picks up a second. It's three versus three, but traded out puts the th man advantage in the hands of Tater Peppers. An aggressive positioning from the T side could have potentially already shut the CTs out from this round. This retake is going to be unbelievably difficult. His tactile. He's got to expect the player towards close rock, and he can't pick up the frag regardless. It's a six for Taylor as Zinez keeps the tear rolling. Towards B, but he's going to find a T rotating back, and that is so much information for Undesired Prophecy. They know it's going to be an A fake. Kismer, he's cleared out T spawn, but nobody's rotating. 
They're taking their way up long, and Kismer, he gave the absolute mystery to UP. He was able to cut off the rotation coming back, but he thought it was a complete safe haven. Beta Nix and Kismer, neither of them are looking towards Connector, and this is going to be a massive flank. Zinez, he doesn't miss these, and just like that, it's a 3v3. UP, they had all the information they could have ever asked for. Yet they're still scratching their heads as to where it's going. And Beast and Holder just absolutely crushed them on the retake. He's growing attached to that 5-7 on the Ecos. And wait, they're taking monster control and it's working out. But Beast there to trade one and potentially two if Graves overextends. And he almost does. But it's still a 4v4. And they want to try and do something in water. Graves CZ is able to pick up a second. It's three versus three. And he's only got one bullet in the chamber. He's got to pick up one of these weapons. He's going to be able to grab the teammate CZ and an AK. But overextension gives Bear or Bizer the trade. And wait, it's 2v2. Betanix with an AK. Kismer with a Deagle. And if he can hit the shots like that, it's absolutely doable. And EDP coming in from heaven. Kismer holding the angle. Biaser, he wants to swing in. And the damage done. It's one versus one. And Betanix with a 2k. You beat pick up another eco. Damage. Not even 48, 52 damage. But they're already out monster. I don't know if they're aware of this. Flixie coming in from heaven to help them. The spray coming in from Graves does so much damage. And it's now doable as I tab out. It's a 2v2. And Beta Nix is able to convert one as well. 1v2 and Beta Nix from heaven again saves UP. This is always going to be dependent on what Graves can do with the MP9. And he's completely blind off of the angle. And that's the fallen B bomb site. And that's pretty much UP losing the round. I cannot see them taking this back. A Deagle and an AK. This is what separates Tater from picking up 10. Supa. He peeks towards Graffiti. Kismer thankfully finds one. I guess they're not out of it yet, but they've still got a lot to do. No kits. Or, I lied. Kismer does have a kit. He's going to try and come closer to this bomb site. of smoke towards Bridge, and he's going to creep through the one that the T smoke threw. But... Biaser shuts hey, it down. He's the biggest pain right now. Tactile picks up one. Nated Nix is traded out. Graves with the quick dink ends him. It's a three versus four. And you see two men towards Sumpster, one towards Bank. If UP just hold the line like Toto say, then they could easily pick this one up. Beast, the only man coming in from Bank Tactile with the first frag on mid site, and it's one versus four. Do you pick up the second pistol? Picks up the PP Bison. Graves and Beta Nix on the map. Tense, and it's a full fountain rush. They're gonna test their luck with the USBs, and Tactile picks up three, make it four, and UP with a quick seventh. No players falling. That is perfect for what they needed. Tactile gonna push straight through his smoke and water, and they're not even flashing them. He's running before the flash comes out, and he pays for it. It's a four versus five. Beta Nix gonna flash himself in towards Monster. Counter smoke isn't going to land. It's a three versus four as one frag is traded back out. Though Kismer puts it in an even slate. Holder, he's very low in water and he's gonna fall. It's two versus three man advantage for UP. And like I said, they have a way better chance at winning this round. Bias are gonna run straight out towards Graffiti, not scared at all. And here's where it gets scary because if they can't pick up the frag, then it's fatal. And one player, the last player, Zinez, drops out towards water. Do they know? They do. And what is Kismer doing? He's got a Molio, but he gets the frag anyway. Teeter aren't able to convert, and it's 11 for UP. He's done at the right time. It's definitely gonna catch Bias or off guard, but he's too good for it. It's 4v5. Kismer making his way up towards short bathrooms and yet another whiff. Is going to allow the CTs to capitalize. Zena as he doesn't miss those, but Flixie doesn't either. Three versus four. Beta Nix is crept out of the Bebop site. And a double dink. Insane frags from Beta Nix. And two men towards water are spotted out quickly. Beta Nix, he's got to do something, but he can't. Two versus three flash out of connector. And I don't think it's going to mount for much as both of them have to go out straight into a choke point holder. He's going to quickly aggress a flash. And he's going to be traded out. It's one versus two for Flixie. He has two. Can he pick up two more? He's against the EWP of Biaser and the M4 of Supa. So it's not really impossible. Biaser's actually in heaven. Flixie, he's going to try and quickly make his way into the A bomb site. And Biaser, he sits towards bank. He's looking for this kill. He's. Oh, the timing. Almost catches him off guard. And Flixie, he's just going to get the bomb down. Biaser, though he's still in bank, he's going to be the biggest pain, but he's spotted out. Flixie, he's got a chance. One CT coming on the flank, but it's only time before Flixie expects this. 
He's got to take this fight shortly or he's going to be killed on the flank. A flash coming out and Biaster's going to fall. It's so damn doable. Flixie, he wants to clutch this one out. He's aware of what Soup is doing. The last time the defuse was stuck. Flixie wasn't able to convert. Oh my god, Supa! He spotted getting off the bomb. Health advantage for Flixie. He's looking for a 1v2 clutch. And he is gonna get it! UP got double digits off of the 1 versus 2 from Flixie! Quick shot from Biaser is only gonna blow up in his face as he's tagged down to 57. And the T's, they're running him down on A. Kismer, he's hit through the wall. But they're quickly being overwhelmed. Flixie, first to fall, 4v5. A bomb sight. It's holding strong so far against the MP9 and the AWP. UP, they don't want to slow down their aggressions either. But Beta Nix, he's trying to go on a lurk. He wants to find something on B. And if he can find an open B bomb site, then that would be absolutely massive for UP. Kismer, he's able to pick up one on the Supa. Four versus four. Beta Nix, he's still holding the line. And it looks like UP want to try and take back towards B. Zinez, he's sat dice with the MP9, and if Kismer can find this frag, then it can make the flank work all the much more. But T, the CTs, they seem very content in not overextending. Very content in just playing for time. And Betanix, he might give it away here with the flank. Oh, what's going to give it away? His tactiles jump into water. Two mollies to stop the push, but it doesn't stop Betanix. He's able to convert one the molly to trade him out. The double molly be, be it. And Kismer with one on A. He's putting more ideas in the minds of the CTs, but with 30 seconds remaining, Graves, he's got to find this frag on B. He needs it, or he needs to wait for the flank to come in. But with 26 seconds, Kismer, he doesn't have time to be walking. Biaser, he's so damn low. Kismer's going to come in from heaven. 19 seconds remaining. Beast holding the heaven push. And he's going to spot it out, but not the kill. 1v2 for Biaser. AWP in hand, 31 HP. He finds one frag. Can he find two? Graves, one versus one. He wants the clutch, and he wants it bad. Biaser, he picks up an M4, and I think he's aware that Beta Nix, or no, Graves, he's able to escape towards Monster without the knowledge of Biaser. So, UP, 31, 31 HP is all that separates them from dying this game up. Biaser, he's going to stick the bomb. Graves, oh my god, he's not buying it. And Biaser sticks the bomb. No, he doesn't. Graves ties it up 12 to 12. Stan, why Graves decided to peek that solo. Super. He picks up the frag and a Kismer, and it's looking very close to being done unless Kismer, not even Kismer, Flixie, Beta Nix a tactile. 3v5 to try and pick it back up. Holder's low. Supa's low. But there's still five CT standing strong. And again, I don't, Flixie, he's on the long rotate. He's got to get the bomb. T's are taking straight out towards B without the bomb. And it's a one versus four for Flixie. He wanted the MVP. Well, if you pick it up now, I'll give it to you. Runs out towards Monster. Super low. Going to be taking the fight. Lixie isn't going to be able to find it, though. And it's 16 to 12.